Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, so today I thought I'd give an update about some changes I made to this script. Um, there was a user who suggested um, that I take a look at LB's um, template. Uh, and it was pretty inspirational, um, especially since I'm not used to um, working with sample chops. Uh, but someone had suggested that uh, they would like it if um, you know their pads could be auto-assigned to what you see in the channel rack. Um, and so I did something like that, um, but I'll have to show you first. Uh, so let me show you the end result. Um, so the end result is that uh, if you don't map your buttons, um, by default, uh, if you turn on this feature, um, you know, each uh, button would map to, you know, um, row one of, uh, of channel rack, row two of the channel rack, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so forth. Um, and if you to reorder these, you know, you you um, basically update what the sam what what sample is going to play from, um, and it, of course it plays just the standard middle C, um, so that we don't have any weird um, you know uh, pitch up pitch down. Um, and so how do we enable this? Uh, so basically, um, first you need to wait. Where'd my folder go? Give me a second. Okay. So first uh, we need to um, open up. There's a config dot Pi file um, that you need to open up, uh, and you can just open up with any text editor. Uh, in my case, I have Visual Studio Code, uh, and I think I have it running. Um, and so you're going to open up this file, and there is now a new line in the updated script that says "Enable MPC style pads." Uh, let me zoom in so you can see it. Um, basically, this line, and uh, it's default to false, so you just want to flip that to true. Uh, once you do that. <clears throat> you know, restart uh, FL Studio, or if you're lazy, you can just do view script output. Uh, this is a cheap way to basically run things faster. Uh, and then you're going to reload these scripts uh, for both tabs. Okay. And then what happens is now, um, you know, whatever is in your channel rack, that's, uh, you know, what you can do. And um, you know you can you can reorder. So I have a there's a secret that I uh, a secret customization that I haven't covered in a video yet, but essentially um, you know you can remap how you want your keys um, are done. Uh, so in my case, I have uh, if I hold down the left button and I turn the the nav wheel, I'm going to send a alt down and alt up uh, command as a shortcut. Um, and, and let me show you what happens. So if you look at this. Uh, and what I'm going to do here. So if I want to, you know, move these guy around, I can, I can select, you know, I want to move 808 to say the, you know, I just moved it down here. Let's move this guy to the top row. And that'll let me, right? So now I can uh, reorder these quickly. Um, so anyway, that's just a trick. Uh, I'll cover this in a video. I, I also have to add documentation, but there's basically a way so that um, you know you can remap how you want buttons held down, and uh, there's the file's called config underscore macros, uh, and you can see how like you know you can remap it to whatever action you want. Uh, the default mappings are under arteria underscore macros dot pi, and you can see you know what the current mappings do. Um, so if you're interested, and uh, they are available for uh, both the Keylab 61 MK2 and also, sorry, the MK2 and the Essential keyboards. Um, okay, so I'll just cover this for now and I'll uh, deep dive into these uh, additional macros in the future. But uh, basically, I just wanted to show off again, um, you know, the MPC style pads. Uh, and again, if you forgot, you need to open up the config.py file and uh, you just need to ch uh, sorry, change this, um, this flag to true. That's it. Okay, thank you. And how do I stop?